Here's another best practice, something you can do with the Const Lab Engine Bench and with your students. So we talk about fuel systems because if you go in a vehicle, you got to go all the way from the tank, you can't see the pump, everything's hidden, the lines, you don't know where they go, and it's difficult for the students to get a grasp of the complete system. With a Const Lab Engine Bench, you've got a fuel cell down here with the OE pump and sending unit. What's really cool is that the sending unit actually works, so you can see with the key on, you can see the real fuel level in the tank. One thing to be aware, if you do have a console lab engine bench, is that oftentimes, depending on the height of the OE sending unit, it may not go down and reach the bottom of the tank. So it can also be fun for your students sometimes to see, well, I put some fuel in it, it's got a little bit of fuel at the bottom, but the engine still doesn't start, it's because the pickup is not picking up at the bottom. Something to be very aware of when you're teaching with the console lab engine bench. What's really cool is that because everything is right here and accessible to your students, you got the fuel cap, you got the sending unit, you have the full EVAP system with the vent and purge solenoid and everything included. Now we've got the pressure line. Now th this engine bench is a gasoline direct injection. So we've got fuel pump here and we've got a pressure line coming up and going to our high pressure pump. And this is of course cam driven because it is a GDI engine. So we can see right off the bat, the students can see the, the full uh, fuel system, the low pressure fuel system, from the tank all the way to the high pressure pump, and then they can also look at the high pressure system. So from here, we're going to go down underneath the intake in this in this case, and see the fuel injectors going direct into the cylinders. So it's something that your students and you can spend a lot of time with with the console lab engine bench, is the fuel system and looking at all the components, doing component identification, uh, understanding how it works, and then later they can go in with the scan tool pull live data and watch what happens in the fuel system. You can even using the scan tool, you can change the requested uh, in a GDI engine like this, you can change the, the fuel pressure and the rail pressure and you can monitor all that through the data. So there's a lot of exciting things you can do in the fuel system on an engine bench in a safe environment. These are all things that yes, theoretically you could do with the car, but it's so much easier to be able to do it and have the repeatability to do it on an engine bench. So. That's it for today. Thanks.